Alrighty, so we're on the scene in downtown Atlanta with Mr. Nigel Baker. And I just wanted to um, to ask him a couple of questions, find out what's going on, see how you're doing. So um, first question of tonight is, what is cushions? What is cushions? Yes, what is cushions? Cushions is cushions is a platform. That's what cushions is. Cushions is a soft platform that when people come in touch with it, it, it takes them to another level. That's what cushions is. A lot of people that I come in contact with, especially models, they um. <clears throat> I'm, I'm all about helping other people and um, just taking their career, their modeling career, whatever they're trying to do, just to the next level. And in the process of me helping them, um, I also move to the next level as well. That's what Cushions is. Okay, okay. So where do you get your your inspiration to, to do certain things. I know that you're very, very creative, but where, where, where do you pull from? Where does it come from? God. You know, sometimes when I sit back and I try to um, think of something creative myself, or I'm looking through a magazine, or looking online to get, to get some type of idea, like a foundation of it, so I could flip it. I mean, I do, I do that sometimes, but a lot of times some of my best work um, comes from God. You know, I have a vision, I wake up with a plan and a mission, and I just execute it. Okay, okay. So would you consider Cushions as successful? Um, I look at from where I first started. Three years ago, I, I didn't even own a camera, let alone knew how to work one. I, I didn't know anything about it, and in my uh, personal life, I um, let's just say that God put people, really good people in my life that taught me how to use a camera, um, taught me the proper ways on how to take pictures and creatively as well. And um, when, when I look at the pictures and the products that I have before me, you know, I take none of the credit. I get no glory. I give all the glory to God because I'm like, wow. It's like he just filtered through me. So when I see a catalog, when I see a calendar, when I see a magazine or whatever else in the future, a commercial made, a video made, a team of eight beautiful ladies coming together, that's all God. I mean, I'm just here facilitating the process. I'm just trying to be obedient to what he gives to me. So, yes, that is successful from not knowing how to even take a picture to knowing now seeing your picture in magazines and, you know, and everything else. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, you know, I know you, you just said that, you know, you've, you've, you use Cushion as it's, it's a platform and that the things that you get, you get from God. And as a witness, you know, we've seen a lot of models come and go, those as aspiring models and those who are models who have made it. Um, how does it, do you ever have people that you have helped and you see them as blossoming and that have, you know, they, they haven't given you kind of like the I'm not gonna say like the 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 credit for helping but more so of like how how do you deal with people like that when you have things like that happen when you know that you were the one that helped facilitate it you and God help help get them to where they they need to be how do you deal with things like that in in this industry because I know it, it, it can be pretty hard at first, I used to take stuff like that personal. I used to, um, I used to really take 
when a person, you know, kind of, like, we started working together, we had a few hits on projects, and then all of a sudden, you know, they move on to the next best thing, whether it's another photographer, more than likely what it is, or another videographer or something like that. And all of a sudden, they don't know my name anymore. And then when I ask them to be in something, you know, that I'm doing, it's like their, their nose is up in the air now. So, you know, at first I used to take it personal, but then I realized this industry is really small than you think. I've traveled all the way from New York to Florida, and Facebook, believe it or not, makes things even smaller. That's what you got to realize. It's like you say something to, the, to somebody in, on Facebook the wrong way. And they could be at your doorstep the very next day, within 24 hours. Don't let, don't let that fool you. They, they, you could be, I could be touched. I could be found. So you know, and so can they. Mm -hmm. You know, so that people be like, oh, that Facebook friend ain't real, or that face. Yeah, you go out your way and say something the wrong way to somebody on Facebook and see, on social media, see what happened to you the next two days. Um, especially if, especially if they are someone who who got the means to come and get you. Mm -hmm. I say all that to say this. God has placed so many projects and so many missions in, in, in my path that I don't have time to to focus on someone that giving me credit or props. It's like I'm, I'm it's like and as I build this up and I work with two people and then at the end of that successful project you know, I'm not getting any accolades. I'm so busy on the next project that I, I'm not even focused on what somebody didn't or didn't say in regards to whatever, you know. And, and that's just a true story. And, and I'm glad, I'm glad it's like that, you know, because I'm so busy working that, um, and he's so busy giving me stuff that I don't even have time to focus on what somebody's not doing or what somebody's not saying about me or cushions. So, yeah. Awesome, awesome. So, um, as far as, as cushions and your vision, where do you see your company in the next five years? TV. It's scary. I mean, I don't know where I'm going to be at in that, in, that, in that equation, but I pray that the work I do, that um, whether it's a picture or a video, one of the models that I work with that it touched someone out there in the industry that someone sees these images or hear what I'm saying and they are like they want to invest in the business they want to invest in cushions and they help facilitate and take it to the next level and I feel that I feel that I'm just preparing myself and the people that's with me whether it's the behind scene people or the people or the models who are, are um, I won't say, who are loyal in a way to cushion succeeding, that they're going, they're, they're going to also be, you know, taken, they're also going to be going on to the next level as well, whether it be TV, radio, or anything like that, or some major national publication. But I definitely see that in the next five years of uh, that's happening. That cushions will be, with a K, <laughs> you know, will be known. Um, nationally um, I don't know how I mean and I think God is like don't worry about that you just keep focus on the projects I'm giving you and what you're doing and I'm gonna make sure that when your net is thrown across the other side of the boat that there's gonna be so much fish so much opportunity that you're gonna wish you through five or six nets awesome awesome so um you know, it's known that you do have a lot of different models, a lot of a lot of young ladies that come and work, that work for you, or, or or that literally comes and take pictures with you at cushions. So, what's your secret to getting the models to to come? Why is it that they want to shoot with you? Um, a, a couple of things. I would like to say word of mouth. Um, um, the fact that I'm, I'm approaching, when I approach someone, I approach them from a real honest platform. I don't have any, any hidden agenda, any uh, alternative motives. 
and when I do this, I'm acting accordingly just for the sake of the business alone. And I, and I think they see that. And the third thing is transparency once they jump on board, is that I'm really transparent on what I do and what I say. And you know, it's been known that I could be a little stern, a little mean, a little rude, <laughs> but it's funny because when I'm currently working with eight ladies and I think one or two of them, you know, kind of call me a little short, mean asshole or something like that, or I need their breath and <laughs> took certain things personally when I, you know, chastised them or got on them about something. These are grown adults too. They're grown adults doing this out of the free will of their own. And they, um, but then when they see that I'm across the board like that with everyone, with, with not just the eight, but the 50. Like I'm currently, I just wrapped up shooting 50 plus size models for Cushion's 2016 swimsuit catalog. And in dialogue on Facebook, I'm very stern on documents that I need. You know, it's like, there's like so many levels to this business, so many intricate parts that, yeah, we took pictures, now we gotta take care of the business aspect of it. We gotta take care of the documentation, policies and procedures, and a lot of models, they just caught up on the pictures alone, but they don't realize, now we gotta get, I gotta get paperwork from you so I could go ahead and put your image in a publication that's gonna be sold online. And I don't want any, any lawsuits coming up later on down the line. And with that being said, um, I'm stern and I'm rigid with everybody when it comes to dates and everything. And I think once one model sees that and I put it out there and they're like, wow, he is like that with everybody. And then, but it's, you gotta be to get things done. Mm -hmm. You know, I've heard people say, believe it or not, I've heard people actually say that Tyler Perry is a genius, but he's an asshole to work with heard this. I've heard people who worked on his set and said that he is just, he, he's the worst person to work for. And then I, I, when I heard that, I look, I look at that as like, hmm, you know, but his final product is excellent. You know, his final product is successful. You know, and people along the way sometimes don't get that, don't see that. You know, I've heard that um, work with legends like Michael Jackson, Dr. Dre, Prince, these guys were the best in their career, in their prof profession, and I heard they were they were perfectionists, and some people didn't even want to work with them because they would forever, ever be grinding. They would say, we got to stay in the studio till we get it right, and to some people who are on this level, they're thinking like, oh, it's right, it's done. Why, why, does, why does Dr. Dre want me to sit in the studio and keep recording this same song over and over? How come he can't hear what I hear? I hear no mistakes. But Dr. Dre is the one that has produced so many successful songs, the producer of so many of this and got Grammys, accolades, and all this other stuff. I like, I think you better listen to him. Mm -hmm. You know, same thing with Michael Jackson. It's like, why is this dance move ain't, ain't to the perfection that he wanted? I think you better listen to him. Mm -hmm. You know, those things. So it's like, I'm not comparing myself in no way, but I'm comparing. I guess my method or my means to getting to what I want along the same path, mm -hmm. the same way to say, hey, you know, I, if I'm doing a group shoot, I will work relentlessly to make sure it's done. You may be tired, you may be hungry, your feet may hurt, but we're going to get this shot until it's completed. And that's it. Sounds like a lot of um, commitment along with, um, with just being consistent so that's pretty good um you touched up a little bit a little bit on your um the the catalog with the 50 women when is your catalog coming out the catalog is um is already online mm -hmm. i mean it's already being sold on amazon uh that release date was actually august man god is good <laughs> god is good because you know yeah august the 8th was when that it was released but um the release it was released officially online august 8 2016 and but it's i'm gonna make the f announcement um at the release party august the 27th okay. so yeah 
Okay. And you um you just mentioned about uh, eight ladies. Um, what what made you want to uh, start a, a elite eight? You know, God. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't want that personal headache. You know, and when I think of that, when you think when I when you hear it, when you say that, I always think of this movie called The Five Heartbeats. Like I'm like I'm a I'm a man. What am I doing? Trying to bring together eight plus size models, but basically they are the brand ambassadors for cushions. For cushions, they will represent cushions in every form of way, and they will be the core. And I don't even, I don't even realize they know the magnitude of a great position they're in right now because they're not getting paid for nothing. But I feel that once things get really rocking and rolling. I think that they will be in the limelight and they will be, and they will see how God just controlled and made all of this come up. And they'll be really happy to be, not to say they're not, they're very happy now, but I think they will really see, I guess, monetary regains and rewards and also, you know, just notoriety of just being out there, being Cushions Elite 8, being on TV and all that good stuff. See, they, what was so great about it is that they jumped on the bandwagon without any of that. And I put it out there on Front Street in the, in the, um, the application and everything. I put it out there from day one. Hey, you're not getting paid. Um, this is not going to be on TV right now. But, um, you know, this is, this is um, something that um, you definitely want to be a part of. Okay. Well, um, I I appreciate you uh, taking the time out to meet with me to answer some questions because we were very curious. Is there anything that you would like to say before we wrap up? Um, I just want to say that um, I'm just really I mean I'm at a good space right now with cushions. You know I. It's like God is God is blessing blessing me every day with people, resources, and access, and I, I'm I'm looking forward to just more with more things to come with the business, and um, that's pretty much it. I'm I want to have like a, a Dre video when he was like started from the bottom, now I'm here. Mm -hmm. I want to have one of those videos to show that you know I started off with a regular Fuji snapshot camera, you know, and <laughs> and then now I'm, I'm a manager at a at a at a, at a video, a, stu a a photography studio where I have access to just about any camera I could think of. And boy, <laughs> that's that's one of those blessings that you be like when you pray for grace and mercy. That's that right there, man. That's that's the above and beyond. You know, I didn't have the money to buy a Mark III. But when I go to work, I see 20 Mark III's. Mm -hmm. I see 20 70 by 200 lens, and, and I see lights and impacts and all this equipment that costs thousands of dollars. And I can easily just go in the closet and, and use it for my own personal use. Of course, put it back, but because I'm a manager, I could just use it. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Well, Nigel, we really appreciate you and we appreciate you taking the time out from this wonderful, wonderful, lovely view here in downtown Atlanta. Many blessings and have a good night. Thank you. You're welcome.